All right, we're going into IG turn four. The Lima Russes are still here. We're going to turn around and try to do as much damage as they can to the Riptides. We are not worried about shooting flyers. We're still in broadside formation, so we'll reroll any one that misses. The main blades want to get as much damage as they can put out towards the enemy, so they're going to go ahead and back up. They're looking far off the big temple. So that's movement. They have no assets remaining, so we're going to go to shooting first. We're going to start off over here with these guys. It's 20 shots for the Punisher cannon, so I'm going to do 10 and just multiply them six times 2 for the sake of saving time watching the video. So 10 shots times 2. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Four shots. They can reroll one because of formation. So that's 12 hits. So I will roll 12 attempted wounds versus the riptides. Um, unit one is not the closest from this side. The closest is unit five. Because the puncture can strength five, it's wounding on fives and sixes. All right. So one, two, three, four. Five. That's five wounds. Everything else, oh, still re-rolling one. So that's three ones. Six wounds. Now, 40k players and people that don't play 40k, um, the armor save is what is going to save or kill me. Armor save is two. So as long as I roll a two, I ignore Punisher rounds. If I roll a one, I want to take the wound. The only one with similar injector was unit one since he's always leading the charge. And he takes a wound, so he's got four left. Alright, the other guns, it is a last cannon and two heavy bolters. So that's six, seven dice. Laz and the bolters. Okay, so that's one, two, three bolters. Um, one bolter rolled a one, missed, big shot, does connect. So now, just like the Punisher cannon, strength five, needs a five or six to wound, one wound. He needs a two to wound, strength nine, wounds. Uh-oh, so, first off, I'm going to do the invul save, I need a five or better? No. So unit five is down to three wounds. Armor save, two up. Good. Now, over here, auto cannon. First shot. Hitting on four. Rerolling ones. So, three hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. So far, two armor saves. I'm good. Now, nine heavy bolter shots. So, that's three, six, nine. Whoops. Guys, shh. quiet. I don't want you in the background of the video. On fours. Again, still re rolling ones. So, eight hits. Wounding on fives. One wound. Two wounds. And two wounds. So, armor save is two. And we're good. So these guys are finished shooting. Now over here, we're going to fire off the big template first. I can catch them all if I hit right here. And it's going to come five inches back. I'm still going to get everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, shh. Enjoy your time, but quietly. So the blast will catch everyone. That's the main cannon on the tank. Firing out. Second main cannon shot. Um, it's going to catch everybody again. So that's a total of eight big hits at strength nine AP2. This is going to hurt because no one took the upgraded shield. They're on a regular shield of a five or better. Okay. Re rolling ones. So everybody's affected. Now, because they're a squadron, I want to roll off the closest. Model first till he dies. 
all of his wounds, three left, no damage. So, first one, five up. No. Second one, yes. Third one, yes. So, next one, no. So, when I fail five, that's when I'll stop. Yes, no. So, fourth one, nope. And five. Okay, this is dangerous. Fives are better, I ignore it, and I walk away. Otherwise, I'm dead. Okay, so, so far I have one left. I've ignored four out of the five. Last one. Nope. And nope. So unit one is dead. He's been blown apart and gunned down. Nothing left of him to talk about. Okay. Continuing shooting. Now we're going to move on to the demolisher cannons. The demolisher cannons are going to have a problem. Why? One shot there, one shot there. So unit two is going to be missed by seven inches. This is the danger of firing close. Again, there's no one left, so it doesn't affect anyone. Second one at unit zero five. It's dead on, won't catch anyone else. So, will wound? Yes. Will he make his invul save? No, he will not. He's down to two. Okay. Now, more firepower. We have four last cannon turrets. We're going to try to finish off unit five since he's the closest. These need fours. Three hits. Three wounds. Now, we need five to save him. He does not have a stimulant injector. So he's down to one wound. Ow. Funeral pain means you take no damage on a five or better. So two out of three ain't bad. He's got one wound left. Now, for the rest of the shots coming off the tanks. We have the first tank we're going to do. All nine shots from the heavy bolters at the same target. We need fours and fives. Okay, I can still reroll ones. I'm still in broadsword pattern. So, one more hit is not a bad thing. So, that's a total of five hits. So, that's four wounds. So, one at a time. Nope, he's dead. Dead, dead, and dead. So, unit five just bought it. Blown off his chest. And he's down. So, the next nine shots, five, six, seven, eight, missing a small guy, nine, I got it. You get six. Alright, no ones, however we've got a bunch of solid hits, so six hits. One, two, three. Three hits. Three wounds. So, unit six, armor, armor, armor. Good. Okay. Last weapon on each bane blade. I have to glue this thing on. Sorry about that, guys. It will be the four auto cannon shots at unit six. All right. So, so far, two hits. Re rolling. No. All right, wounding on threes, nothing. So, combined Imperial Fire have dropped two Riptides. We should have played conservative and went with the upgraded shields, otherwise I would have lost no units. But now we're gonna speed into um, Tau Turn 4, which might be wrapping up the game. All right, so this tape measure here that's on the table, if you can zoom out and come back, is the threat range of the Tiger Shark's um, heavy railgun. Movement phase, we cannot make a 90 degree turn fast enough, so this unit leaves the table and goes back into reserves.
This unit is going to cruise out at 18 over the wreckage. We're going to maintain tank hire. We're going to move unit one's corpse over a little bit just to make room for the base. Take an argument. There's no, there's a possible 12-inch charge, but I'm trying to kill something, so I'm going to go ahead and risk the overcharge on the 46 charge, so I can smash the two tanks and try to kill them. I'll take it. So in the movement phase, I'll be rolling 46. So I'll put four dice out for the movement issue. Sharks in. There's nothing left protecting the bane blades. There's no one left, I should say, to protect the bane blades. There's no assets they can use to stop the damage. They're, it's just kind of their time. So, the paper is not cooperating. The only thing about construction paper in the classroom. So, the dark one is Bertha. The light one is burning dead. You can tell by the four of these symbols on the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up. Come around. The last tile asset that we erased off the board by accident was um, network generator, drone network. So, dropping the network, everything within 24 inches of one point gets a marker light token. So, we're going to highlight everything. First off, we're going to start with the Tiger Sharks versus the Green Bang Blade. There's no void shield generator, there's nothing else for it to defend itself with. Two marker lights, both hit. So the formation is going to hit on two, spinning one, and the riptides will hit on two when it's their turn to shoot. So, do we have a rear shot? Nope, still side, still side. So the first cannon shot, all 16 of them, ineffective. However, we're going to start off with launching all four missiles at the side of the Bane Blade, see if we can start some free damage. Because the women rushes will be easy pickings when the Red Fighter Squadron comes back. So, all hit. Again, side armor is 13. We need six of the glance. Two glances. I'll take two glances. So, that guy's dead. We're going to recycle the dice. Boom. Now, D weapons. The big guns. The heavy rail cannons. Going in. Both hit. Now, I want a 6 for armor penetration result, but I'm not. So, it's going to be D3 plus 1 for each die roll. So, all you do is divide by 2 roundup. So, 2, 5. So, he's up to 7 damage. He's not looking so hot. Kamikaze, lose a plane. Killed by the narrator and his goofy hands. Great thing I magnetized them. Alright. So, putting the fighter back up. Fixed. Okay. So that's all the damage they could do. Now, Riptides. Both of them have fusion blasters. They're within 18 inches, so we're going to fire those first. The formation for Riptides means that if they're firing at the same target, the first one hits at his Blizzard skill with any other bonuses of Marker Lights. So instead of hitting on a 4, he'll hit on a 3, 
of the fusion. It'll hit. I'm not within nine, so I don't get two dice. So I need a six. Nothing. Second one, same target. We'll hit. Boom. I need that for plants and nothing. Still not within nine. However, get hot for both guns, nothing. So I'm gonna center here. And it's gonna hit for the first one. Get strength eight, so I need a six. Of course not. Second one, same target. And it's gonna move back three inches, still hit. Nothing. Well, we were only six. No. Okay. Now for the charge. These guys are coming in at 46. So that is 9, 12. Just enough to make the contact at the base of the tank. So, boom. Coming in. He'll hit the other one in the formation. The squadron. It affects the target. All right. Hammer of Raptor Strength 6. Versus the front armor won't do anything. Smash attacks. Hit on three. Two hit. So it's strength 10 versus rear armor. That'll be a glance. So moving him up to eight. Second one. Um, Reloading ones. <laughs> okay. So the riptides are stuck. And that's all we got for you right now for Tau turn. Riptides can't move. The only good news is they can't fire the, the big cannons at them. It's too close. They'll damage and destroy themselves. So we can neatly say that the Imperium is hosed at this point. Next turn, of course, the Russes are going to turn. We're going to turn here. We're going to attempt a Thunder Blitz. So I need to get the book. Thunder Blitz is going to knock the crap out of me and send me to the back. Okay, so let's roll for the Thunder Blitzes. First tank. It'll be a five. Crunch. Um, suffers D6 strength, 6 AP4 hit. Second one. Same thing. So it's going to be a lot of swings. It's going to be a total of four hits. Need force to wound. I'm a big creature. Um, four wounds, four armor saves. I'll take one, but then they get out of the way. So they move back, and they move forward. So I can't get away. Going with shooting. This is going to suck. All right, so all close up and personal like. I'm going to start off with the demolisher cannon. It'll hit and it can catch both. So, all right, so we're rolling ones, two wounds. Five ups, one save, one didn't. So, unit six has a wound. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't need ten, but it won't hurt. We're going to do heavy bolters at unit six from this tank. Alright, so roll three ones, get to re roll. All hits, so boom, 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 boom. Eight hits, wounding on fives and sixes. All right, so one, two, three, four. Wounds, unit six, armor saves. All right, he's got two wounds left. Fail three of them. All right, last cannon. Two of them, both hit. One, we roll. All right, unit six. Down to one wound. He's just getting pounded on. Auto cannon, same target. One hit. Nothing needs a three to wound. All right. 
the other one. And it too. Hitch dead on. Two loans. All right, so unit two is down to three. He's the closest, he'll soak both of them up. Flash cannons. One. Wound. Nothing. He's down to two wounds. We're just getting pummeled here. All right. Coming down to the wire. Um, nine shots from the heavy bolters. All of them. Wow. Never happens. All right. Fives and sixes. One, two, three, four. Total armor saves. Good. All right. Heavy bolters. I mean, auto cannon. One hit. Nothing. Reroll. One. Armor. No. One wound left. Whew. Coming down to the wire. Okay. Auto cannons here. Unit six. Nothing. Rerolling ones. One hit. Nothing. Definitely not meant to be there. Nine heavy bolters. Alright, no one. Well, there is a one. I lied. Alright, six hits. No wounds. Alright. Four, eight, nine, ten. Same thing again with the Punisher Cannon. We're just gonna. Double up the numbers. So, one, two, three, four, five. Stop rolling in a chair. All you gotta do is sit still. So, that's a total of 12 hits. How many wounds? Two. Armor, armor, good. Um, last cannon, will it hit? Yes, will it wound? Yes, will we save? Um, no. So unit six is out. And that takes care of that issue. Now, fast forward on the towel issue. This unit is gonna go to the edge of the board. For 18 inches, still in tank hunter formation. The turrets are going to be facing all the way back so they can pop shots off. This squadron is going to come in. We got to come in a minimum of 18 inches from this corner. So I'm going to be in tank hunter and I'll have rear shots on band blades. Guns. We're going to shoot this one with the hammer. The tiger strikes, I mean. Micro lights. Both go off. 2D weapons. Re roll. Nope. Because it's twin length. So one hit. Guaranteed. Five. So solid hit. Um, two more hope points, so it's at six. You should be on a computer. Why are you two standing up? Make sure you didn't, you didn't take any video of them, right? No. Okay. So, 
four missiles into the side of this one. Two hits. Three, well, three hits. Actually, no, it's two. I'm not in broad sword on the tank hunter. So, maybe sixes. Tank hunter lets me re-roll the result. And I can't buy a finishing blow. However, 16 shots on the back of them. We're going to just do eight. Because we're going to blow them up and get rid of them right now. Shots are going to be coming in the rear. Alright. Nope. 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 Five. So it'll be counts. Ten hits. Alright, so gone. When you double up the results, gone. So gone. Gone. Riptide is gonna fire his template. It's gonna be strength nine because he's no recharging. And he's going kamikaze. He's gotta blow stuff up. And it's gonna go um, an inch over, so it's gonna affect both. Since it's strength nine in ordinance, it rolls two d six. So glance, this one's going up over here. Um, ten on the side. So let's roll. It'll be a regular hole point, so he's up to seven points of damage. This one's going supernova. It's a moderate explosion. Let's see where it goes. It's going to sit right there. The D weapon's only going to affect this base. There's going to be a strength 8 here. Strength 8 can glance on a 6. Nothing. Alright. Over here, we're going to have 12 missiles coming in. The tank hunter. So, marker lights first from the red squadron. We need 3 marker lights. 2 hit, so we're hitting on 2s. We're going to fire the strength 7 missiles first. Can't reroll 1s, getting on 2. So, 6s will glance. Alright, class dismissed. That's one more hole point, so one left. Everyone else is free to go. Alright, you'll pass. 6 strength 8 missiles now. Can't reroll ones, but all hits. Again. So, um, glance, glance, pin, and that's the ball game, folks, right there. So everything's wiped out. Tau survived. One riptide left. Thank you for watching. I'll do the recap in a second.